thejbeans.net. The Cayman Turtle Center is a large wildlife conservation facility located in Grand Cayman. In addition to educational information, the park provides opportunities for guests to swim and snorkel with green sea turtles. Sea sharks, barracuda, and other predators play in a large freshwater pool and more. In this video, we'll provide an overview and tips from our December 2022 visit to the Cayman Turtle Center when our ship, the Carnival Sunrise, visited Grand Cayman. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel and consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Although cruise lines offer excursions to the Cayman Turtle Center that include transportation, we decided to purchase our tickets directly through the park and travel by public bus. Doing the visit on our own saved some money for our family and also allowed us to experience the park on a more relaxed time schedule. We booked the full access Turtle Adventure Tour through the center's website prior to our cruise. The tour included general admission and access to all of the major attractions. The day of our visit, we took the complimentary water shuttle from our ship to the Royal Watler Cruise Terminal. We then exited the terminal area and walked along Harbor Drive to the intersection with Fort Street, then turned right, crossed the street, and walked along Fort Street to Hero Square and the bus depot. The entire walk from the entrance of the cruise terminal area to the bus depot took about five minutes. Buses at the depot left roughly every five minutes and cost $2.50 per person each way. With a very short wait, we were soon on our way to the Cayman Turtle Center, about 10 minutes after stepping foot on the island. It's worth noting that we paid for everything on the island in U.S. currency, which is accepted everywhere as part of the Cayman Islands dual currency economy. The drive to the park took about 25 minutes. After arriving, we went to the park's ticket booth where we redeemed the tickets we purchased online for wristbands. After entering the Cayman Turtle Center shortly after it opened, we quickly realized there were only a few other guests at the park because the cruise ship excursions had not yet arrived. We decided to take advantage of the low crowds and headed straight to the saltwater turtle lagoon to swim and snorkel with the young green sea turtles and reef fish. Before heading in, we stored our belongings in a locker at the nearby shower facilities using a lock we rented from the ticket booth at the entrance to the park. A small shed structure located at the entrance to the Turtle Lagoon water provided life jackets and snorkeling gear that was included with our ticket. The lagoon was lengthy and some areas were too deep to stand with our heads above water, so we greatly appreciated the life jackets letting us enjoy a relaxing swim among the marine life. We really enjoyed our time swimming and snorkeling with the turtles, especially since we practically had the whole lagoon to ourselves for about an hour before other guests arrived. After snorkeling, we showered and changed, then visited the Turtle Education Center and Hatchery. Unfortunately, we visited during the hatchery's off-season, but there were still educational exhibits and videos available. Our next stop was Green's Breeding Bay, which was located near the entrance to the Cayman Turtle Center. The bay was home to the park's fully mature breeding green sea turtles, and some of the turtles weighed more than 300 pounds, or 136 kilograms. Continuing counterclockwise around the park, the next exhibit we visited was the turtle tanks, which featured turtles of varying ages and sizes. 
As we walked around the turtle tanks, we saw the first of many wild green iguanas and feral chickens that were wandering around the park. Nearby, the turtle wading pools allow guests to enter the water and touch younger turtles, much to the delight of Jelly Bean. Guests were not allowed to pick up the turtles and were instructed to interact with the turtles by using a gentle two-finger touch. A hand-washing and sanitizing station was located nearby. Breakers Lagoon was a freshwater pool area located near the back of the Cayman Turtle Center that featured waterfalls and the Turtle Twister water slide. The lagoon had pool depths that ranged up to 8 feet, or about 2.4 meters. And the minimum height to ride the water slide was 4 feet, or about 1.2 meters. Around the pool area, there were sun loungers and shaded areas bathrooms and lockers, a small playground for small children, and more chickens and iguanas. The pool area also featured an underwater view of the nearby Predator Reef, but we used the dry viewing window to view the sharks, barracudas, and other predators. Near the pool area and the Predator Reef, the park had a restaurant with food and drinks available for purchase. Our final stops at the Cayman Turtle Center included the Caribbean Free Flight Aviary, which featured birds that are native to the Caribbean. The Cayman Butterfly House, which had very few butterflies due to the time of the year. And the gift shop, which was located at the park's exit. To catch the public bus back to the bus depot and cruise terminal area, we waited in the shaded area in front of the park. We only had to wait a couple of minutes before a bus arrived and we headed back. Now a few quick tips for your visit to the Cayman Turtle Center. Signage is plentiful throughout the park, but we found it helpful to have an understanding of the park's layout before we arrived. A map is available on the park's website, which we've linked in the description below. We also found it helpful to take a photo of the day's schedule of events, which was posted at the park's ticket booth. If you're planning to rent a lock for a locker, the rental required a $20 cash deposit during our visit. $10 was returned to us when we returned the lock as we exited the park. Free public Wi-Fi was available throughout the park. The Wi-Fi password could be requested from the staff at the park's ticket booth. For the public bus, don't wait until the last minute to catch a bus back to the bus depot and cruise terminal area. The buses are basically just large passenger vans and they will not stop if they're already full of passengers. Since the bus routes begin and end at the depot, this really isn't a problem for the bus ride heading to the park. During our visit, the Cayman Turtle Center was available from the yellow westbound number one and the green westbound number two bus routes. Bus routes can change, so we highly recommend checking with the driver to confirm the bus is headed to the park before getting in.